What drives me is the ability to make a difference, to make a difference in people's lives, and to be able to speak to the issues of the day. Physicist Shirley Ann Jackson's story began in Washington, D.C. As a child, she was inspired by nature in her backyard. I used to collect live bumblebees, and I would observe and keep detailed logs of their behaviors. I was really quite interested in math, and I was a good math student, but in the end I decided I liked physics because it combined the mathematical approach with natural observation and experiments. And so I think that's why I'm a theoretical physicist today. Jackson attended undergraduate and graduate schools at MIT, studying particle physics theory. MIT had just built a new res hall for women. And at that point, Caltech and places like Princeton would not admit women. So I ended up going to MIT. As an undergraduate, Jackson studied condensed matter theory, the study of the structure and behavior of matter. Her PhD was in theoretical elementary particle physics. Jackson was the first African-American woman to earn a doctorate from MIT. Along the way, I spent time at Fermilab, but during the time I was there, I got a fellowship to go to CERN and work on neutrino physics. And after I had spent a year at CERN, I went back to Fermilab. But by that time, I realized that I was interested in getting back to what was my first interest, condensed matter. In those days, Bell Labs would hire you if they thought you were smart enough, even if you weren't trained in condensed matter. So that's how I ended up at Bell Labs. After 19 years at Bell Labs, Jackson was appointed by President Bill Clinton to head the Nuclear Regulatory Commission. She also spearheaded the formation of the International Nuclear Regulators Association. What was interesting for me was discovering that I could lead and lead a complex organization. Jackson became president of Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute in 1999. I get to bring a unique perspective rooted in science and math and engineering to the table to help address really thorny security and public policy questions. And I've had the great privilege of being able to work on some really exciting stuff in some really exciting times. And I like to feel I've made a difference, at least a little bit.